pra Oslo Pra sair no Oslo do um Logo Oslo da terra do bacalhau Oi, tudo bem? Welcome to the second lesson in the special series I'm creating to help you to jumpstart your Brazilian Portuguese. I'm Professor Jason. Today I'll be teaching you some common greetings, some small talk or get to know you types of phrases and questions, some farewells and courtesy phrases. Now this is going to be a pretty straightforward listen and repeat kind of lesson, but I'll throw in an explanation or two here or there. Então, vamos começar. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started here with some of the most common ways to say hello or hi in Brazilian Portuguese. What you're going to see on these slides are these images of these people. Let's call them Giseli and Rafael. And you're going to see the Brazilian Portuguese expression or term in black type with an English translation that might be a literal translation or a mo more colloquial translation in very small green type at the bottom of the speech bubble. So, in Brazilian Portuguese, Hello is Olá, Olá, a less formal, perhaps more frequent or common way of saying hi is Oi, Oi. So again, hello is Olá, hi is Oi, Oi. On this next slide, we see three very common greetings but that vary depending on the time of day. So, good morning, bom dia, bom dia, bom dia. In the afternoon after 12 noon, you might say, boa tarde, boa tarde, boa tarde. In the evening, more as a farewell sometimes, it's boa noite, boa noite. So again, bom dia, Boa tarde, boa noite. Again, it depends on the time of day. On the next three slides, beginning with this one, I'm going to teach you some expressions for asking someone how they're doing, how everything's going, etc., and a few responses. So these will be the next three slides. One very f common way to do this is the question, tudo bem? Or its variation, tudo bom? Tudo bem? Tudo bom. You can also say, tudo bem com você, with you. Someone might respond to these questions, tudo e com você, tudo e com você, or tudo ótimo, like everything's great, tudo ótimo. So again, tudo bem, tudo bom, tudo e com você, or tudo ótimo. Next slide. How are you? Or how's it going, maybe? Como vai? Or como vai você? Often this is just shortened to como vai? In the answer, you can say vou bem, I'm fine, vou bem e você, but often the vo is left off and it's just bem e você? Como vai? Bem e você? Or very well. Muito bem, e você? Just okay? Como vai? Indo. With that intonation, more or less. Como vai? Indo. Which means, eh, more or less okay. Just okay. Third slide. A little bit more formal, perhaps. Como você está? Como você está? Estou bem, e você? Notice you can always add that tagline, e você, which throws the question right back at the person who just asked it. Como você está? Estou bem, e você? Or I'm fine, thanks. Bem, obrigado. E você? In this case, our woman, Giseli, would say, bem, obrigada. E você? Because the ending of obrigado varies depending on the gender of the person speaking. Como você está? Bem, obrigada. E você? She might say. If she's just so-so, she's not doing great that day, she might answer with Mais ou menos. E você? So one more time. Como você está? Estou bem. E você? Or Bem, obrigado. E você? 
mais ou menos, mais ou menos. All of these are very frequent uh, ways to answer the question, como você está? All right, so now we're starting to get into some of these small talk or get to know you types of questions. If you want to find out a little bit more about the other person and ask them what their name is, let's look at that on these next couple of slides. If you want to ask, what is your name, the phrase is, qual é o seu nome? Qual é o seu nome? Sometimes it just sounds like, qual seu nome? Qual seu nome? Meu nome é, and in her case she might say, Giselle. Qual é o seu nome? Meu nome é Giselle. Another way to ask this question is, Como você se chama? Como você se chama? And the response to that question is, Eu me chamo, in his case, Rafael. Eu me chamo Rafael. So, Qual o seu nome? Meu nome é Giselle. Como você se chama? Eu me chamo Rafael. If you want to ask the person's last name or surname, the question is, Qual o seu sobrenome? Qual o seu sobrenome? And you answer by saying, Meu sobrenome é whatever it happens to be. Maybe it's Giselle Rodriguez. So, Qual o seu sobrenome? Meu sobrenome é Rodriguez. All right, now, of course, after you've introduced yourselves and told each other your names, it's customary to say something like, pleased to meet you, nice to meet you, the pleasure's all mine, etc. So, the expression, nice to meet you, or pleased to meet you, in Brazilian Portuguese, can be just simply, prazer. Prazer. So, somebody says, you've just exchanged names, you say, prazer. The other person might say, o prazer é meu. O prazer é meu, or o prazer é todo meu. An alternative way to say this, a little bit more formal, is muito prazer em conhecê-lo, if you're speaking to a man, or muito prazer em conhecê-la, very nice to meet you. And again, you can say likewise, igualmente, igualmente. So, prazer, o prazer é todo meu, or Muito prazer em conhecê-lo ou conhecê-la, and igualmente. All right, and delving a little bit deeper into our get to know you questions, um, our small talk, maybe you might want to ask the person where they're from, what their nationality is, or even where they live. So on the next three slides, we'll look at some phrases or questions to deal with this, those topics. So if I want to ask someone where they're from, the question is, De onde você é? De onde você é? This is usually going to elicit the person's country, or maybe sometimes the city, depending on the context. So, de onde você é? Sou dos Estados Unidos. So, de is the expression, then the country. Sou dos Estados Unidos, in this case, the United States. Or she could respond with her nationality. Sou americano. Or since she's a woman, sou americana, okay? So again, question about nationality, where someone's from in terms of their country. De onde você é? Repeat that, try to get the intonation more or less right. De onde você é? Sou dos Estados Unidos. Or, sou americana. On to the next slide. If you want to specifically ask someone if they are of a certain nationality, you have to know that adjective of nationality. So, Giselle might ask Rafael, Você é brasileiro? Você é brasileiro? And he might answer, Yes, I am. Sou sim. Sou sim. E você? Sou sim. E você? Or if he's not, he might say, Não. Eu sou americano. Não. Eu sou americano. So again, Giselle says, Você é brasileiro? And he says, Sou sim, e você? She might say, No, eu sou americana. If we want to ask someone where they live, this is usually going to elicit as a response the city or maybe even the neighborhood, depending on the context. So she might say, Onde você mora? 
Onde você mora? Rafael's going to respond, Eu, or you can leave that off, as I've done on the side, Moro em São Paulo, e você? Moro em São Paulo, e você? She responds, Moro em Miami. So you can use any city here, right? But the emphasis is on where you live. Onde você mora? Eu moro em... And then the name of the city. Eu moro em Miami. All right, at this point, we've already asked their name, their last name, where they're from, their nationality. We might as well delve a little bit deeper into this uh, small talk and find out how old our new friend is. To ask someone how old they are, there's a couple different questions you can use. The first is, qual é a sua idade? Qual é a sua idade? Sometimes it's just shortened to, qual é a sua idade? Qual é a sua idade? Qual é sua idade? You answer this by using the verb ter, and there's going to be a future lesson on verbs. Tenho 24 anos, e você? Here I'm using the number 24, right? Literally, I have 24 years. So obviously to talk about age, we need to understand how to use the verb ter, which means to have, and our numbers, at least our number, our age, right? In this example, Gisele is 24. Qual é a sua idade? Tenho 24 anos. E você? Another way to ask this is, Quantos anos você tem? Literally, how many years do you have? Quantos anos você tem? Notice the similarity, of the, the exact similarity of the answer. Tenho, and then the number of years. Tenho 23 anos. So again, Qual é a sua idade? Tenho 24 anos. E você? Quantos anos você tem? Just a different way of asking the same question. Similar answer. Tenho 23 anos. You can leave off the word anos because it's obvious. So she could say, Quantos anos você tem? Tenho 23. Or he could leave off tenho. 23. Okay, it's been nice that Gisele and Rafael have had this nice little chat, gotten to know each other a little bit, but now it's time to say goodbye. So in the next couple of slides, I'll introduce some expressions, very common expressions for saying goodbye, some farewells. First of all, extremely common is até logo, até logo. Notice the sound on até, até logo. It's an open vowel. If you don't remember what those are, go back to the previous lesson on pronunciation and sounds, right? Até, até logo. A very uh, common response to that is simply, tchau. Tchau is a very common way to say bye in Brazil. Tchau. Or he might say, até breve, which means see you soon. Até breve. Another way of saying see you later is, até mais. Até mais. And then finally, on the last slide here, see you tomorrow or until tomorrow, até amanhã, até amanhã, or until next time, até a próxima, até a próxima. And in informal speech, sometimes Brazilians will simply just say, até, até. So again, everything from até logo, até breve, até mais. Até amanhã to tchau. Tchau. So just to finish up this lesson on um, greetings and get to know you expressions and farewells, I thought it might be good to throw in some courtesy phrases ou frases de cortesia um, just to round out our basic inventory of simple phrases. The first of these, the most important perhaps, is please, which is, por favor, por favor, repeat it, por favor, por favor, thank you, also extremely important, or thanks a lot is, muito obrigado, again, if you're a woman, you're going to say, obrigada, muito obrigado, a man, muito obrigada, or you can simply leave off the muito and say, obrigado, for thank you, Obrigado. For a woman, obrigada. 
In informal conversation and context, sometimes speakers will leave off the first sound and simply say, brigado, or brigada for women. But the word is, obrigado, or muito obrigado, thank you very much. In response to that, you can say, you're welcome as, de nada, de nada, obrigado, de nada. If you need to apologize, which sometimes happens, right, in life, if you need to apologize, say you bump into somebody or something like that, or you step on someone's toe at the movie theater, right, getting to your seat, you can simply say, disculpe, disculpe, disculpe. In response, the person might say, no tem problema, no tem problema, it's no, it's no big deal, no problem, don't worry about it. Disculpe. Ah, no tem problema. If you want to say you're very sorry about something, you can say, sinto muito. Sinto muito. All right, if someone gives you some bad news about themselves, tells you that a relative has passed away or something like that, it'd be nice to say, ah, sinto muito. Sinto muito. Okay. If you need to get by somebody, say in a crowded uh, supermarket or something like that, you want to get by someone, you can say, com licença, com licença. Sometimes this is shortened just to licença. Okay? So again, por favor is please. Muito obrigado, thank you very much. Obrigado, obrigada, or simply, obrigado, obrigada, thank you, thanks. You're welcome, de nada, de nada. Sorry, desculpe, desculpe. It's no big deal, no problem, don't worry about it. No tem problema. No tem problema. I'm very sorry about something that's happened to somebody. Sinto muito. Sinto muito. And excuse me if you need to get by or around someone that's in your way. Com licença. Com licença. Licença. All right, that concludes lesson two in my basic Brazilian Portuguese course. If you found the phrases and explanations in this video helpful and informative, I hope you'll share this lesson with anyone else you know who might also be trying to learn Brazilian Portuguese. And be sure and let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, okay? That's all I've got for now. Thanks again for watching. This has been Professor Jason, and I hope to see you at the next lesson. Até breve. Tchau. Da terra do